Hi guys, Travis Gordon here. I'm driving down a back road to uh, Brockville today where I've been asked to come in and uh, talk to the students uh, about um, green screens. So I have uh, two classes. Um, I have an hour, so I have half an hour with each, with each class and it's like 25 people per class. Um, but what I've come up with this morning is it seemed a little boring, like um, green screens are fairly simple to do. You can always just like go to YouTube and type in, you know, how to do green screens and, uh, you know, I'm sure people will show you how to do it and, and, uh, and I might do a video on that as well. But what would be more interesting is uh, it's, it's called the Reel to Reel Film Festival. And um, basically I think it's kids from around Ontario, Canada, uh, who have excelled in film and video or they've worked on a project with their teachers or or something and they've submitted it to this festival. So these kids are probably pretty good. Uh, but what I would like to see is uh, how good are they? Uh, can I throw them a, a curveball here? And, uh, and instead of doing green screens, I'm just I'm turning up here, so just give me a second, but instead of doing green screens, um, test them, have a, like a little competition and then what I would do is uh, I'll perhaps put up the uh, two winning submissions uh, up on YouTube and show you guys um, what they did and hopefully get them some exposure. All right, here we are. We are in Brockville and I just got a copy at uh, Mickey D's there and we have Galaxy Theaters in the back here. Give me one sec. I have the camera upside down sort of. Uh, there we go. We have Galaxy Theaters in Brockville who are holding this event for the students. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm here and uh, right on time. So we'll just flip that back over. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, so the kids uh, have a viewing of their stuff at 10.50. It is now uh, 10.08. Uh, I said I'd be here at 10.15, so I'm on time. I'm a little nervous, you know, because I don't know anyone here at this event. Uh, I've just talked to people by email, uh, Amanda and uh, some other guy. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna drink my coffee, get some caffeine in me, and then I'm gonna go inside and meet people and bring all my gear in. I have, I brought some stuff for them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've got, uh, well, you probably can. I've got my green screen here as my backup, but I really am gonna have like a little contest, a little YouTube contest or online video contest for them, uh, which I think will make things exciting. We've got uh, some lights here, uh, some cords, uh, sandbags, um, and I brought my good camera here, my Canon. Uh, XH-A1S here in the bag, and I've got my little guy here, my favorite little HB20 for talking to people. Anyways, uh, I'll sign out for now, and uh, I'll be walking into Galaxy Cinema. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I uh, went into the theater. Uh, inside, uh, there was 50 students in, in the theater watching uh, their productions. Uh, I couldn't film inside because I had to get, like, consent forms and all that jazz with uh, parents' consent forms because they're all, like, uh, young and stuff, so... Uh, so I can just tell you guys about it. Hopefully I can discuss it vividly so it'll feel like you were there. Uh, so anyway, so I walk in and uh, it's a real movie screen. Uh, and the kids' projects were being projected on this huge screen. And the first thing I thought was, I'm jealous. I've actually never seen my work up on a big screen like that. So uh, so th these kids had an amazing opportunity. It must have been a thrill. That That's pretty cool. Like We, uh, we did win a bronze uh, in Houston. Uh, at the Houston International World Fest Film Festival, but uh, I didn't get the email. My spam filter grabbed it, so we didn't actually get invited to it and then found out after we had won. So I missed out on, my, on, on an opportunity uh, to be shown on the big screen. Maybe in the future that would be cool. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, these kids' uh, projects were really creative. Uh, they were using... Um, I talked to one of the teachers, and uh, they would used a blue uh, shower curtain as a... As a uh, a backdrop uh, to and deleted the blue, which is quite clever. Um, uh, I really uh, appreciate what these uh, students had done, and uh, the teachers who came to it um, and brought the students to this big sort of it was called the Real to Real Festival, uh, and it was uh, these projects that the uh, they had done at school, and every school could submit something to this festival, and these kids got in. So they were they're they're sort of the best of the best, and they were showing it up on the big screen. Anyway, so uh, after that, uh, there was two workshops. Um, one was uh, Kojiko, which was like a local television channel, and uh, then there was myself, and I was talking about green screens and production and stuff like that. Uh, so it was great, had a good time, and I uh, had a little competition. So 
Uh, all the kids had to uh, do a scene. Um, they had to pick a director, and I broke them up into five groups, and they sort of performed the little scenes. And I said if, if their scene won, uh, it got voted on or I chose it, I would read the winner's names and put it up on YouTube, you know, just for hopefully give them some exposure. Uh, but the list seems to have a uh, little uh, last, no last names here. Oh, some last names. Okay, so I'm just going to read these quickly. And uh, so these guys are the winners. These guys are so the best of the best. All right, so we've got uh, Troy, okay, first name, Sarah, Emily, uh, Logan, Thomas, Claire, Kelsey, Sp oh, that's the name of their production company, Jamie Barrett, Amanda Roy, or Roy? I don't know what that is, I apologize. Uh, and we've got... Uh, Hunter and Candace. And now if you guys are watching this and you want me to put your guys' last names, I will do so in the uh, show info on the side there. But anyways, it was a fun day. I love teaching these kids and, and, and answering questions from the audience. And it was really cool. It was a movie theater. And I was jazzed and I had a good time. So, And it was in Brockville. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Brockville, Ontario. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, good times. So uh, I, they've asked me back next year and I'll probably go if I'm free. And uh, yeah, it was great for the kids. Uh, great for me, great for the teachers, and great for the world. No, I don't know. Anyways, peace out.